Northeast Georgia Health System has a very rich culture. You know, we had core values. They were on a piece of paper, but it was not common language. So we went through the process to clarify those core values so that we can have a common language and a common vocabulary. So we interviewed medical staff members, board members, executive team, volunteers, community stakeholders, and through that process, the consistency of the core values and that vocabulary continued to surface, and it is who we are and what we're about. My ultimate goal is that everyone can embrace and understand the core values that can then speak to what we're about, where it is we're trying to go, and what it is that they do and how they contribute in us achieving our goals for the future. You know, we here at the hospital get to be part of of so many special moments. The moments when a, a new baby arrives and oftentimes the moment when a family member is leaving this earth. We went to a routine ultrasound, my husband and I, and I was a little over five months into the pregnancy and we had found out we were having a little boy and so we were all ecstatic and so, but that day was different and we got the terrible news that he had passed away. She just melted in my arms and said they didn't, couldn't find the heartbeat. So um, I switched jobs immediately from triage to go take care of her. And my husband's on one side and Tammy's on the other and we locked arms with my head on her shoulder and walked to the L&D room six, 16. I'll never forget it. When you're in that room, you're trying your best to be a strong for that family, but you step outside and cry and you cry in front of them because it, it's, you know, it's, the death of a, a living person. And even though he wasn't, you know, he had already passed, we got the opportunity to hold him and talk to him and um, kiss him just like all the others and, um, and say goodbye. And um, as tragic as it was, I wouldn't trade those days for anything because that was the time that, you know, I got to to hold him and know him. The care, you know, just the way that the hospital handled the situation by being honest but very um, kind was was really was really great. We're here to care. That's, that's what we're here for. When we walk into this building, we put down all of our titles and all of our degrees, that we're here to focus on one thing, and that's to take care of people. That's what we do. We're here when good news is delivered and when bad news is delivered. And it's, it's that smile, it's that hand, it's the bringing in of flowers, it's the delivering of mail. Mostly it's about helping people. You got to care, you know what I mean? And everybody here that works here, they all care about each other. And I've seen nurses on the floor do the most incredible things, whether it's bringing in special treats for patients, recognizing their birthdays while they're here in the hospital, and that happens all the time. Kindness costs us nothing. It's so much easier to smile than it is to frown. And you know, it is every day. People, everybody has, has things going on on the outside. None of us know everything everybody's got going on, but when we come here, our job is to treat our patients and our coworkers and our community with kindness. We didn't want to go out like that. We, I think we had hope for another child from the very beginning. We are still close today. I came back and um, delivered her rainbow baby a couple of years later. She's pregnant again. We were thrilled to even find out it was a little girl. And we checked into the hospital on a Saturday morning and that woman walked through the door and she had dropped it and came in on her day off and delivered our baby girl. I think everybody cried when she came out and it was just a joyous when she took that first cry and everybody was there for her and she was there for us. But she did that with such love and care and it really was a time to laugh, a time to cry, a time to dance, you know, a time to weep, you know. She really was that in the flesh for us.
I've actually been with the hospital since 1973. I started working here at 15. So I've worked in housekeeping and maintenance. I've worked in the laundry. I've worked in the OR. I've worked in as an orderly. Uh, I've worked in SPD, so I've packed surgical trays. So I had the unique experience of being able to see what all goes on behind the scenes. I found out that it's very important to have all of the pieces of the machine working together because without that, the things that I take for granted every day when I walk in the operating room to do a case wouldn't happen. We're not in this alone. Primary care needs are met here by Brazelton, but the more tertiary services like open heart surgery, trauma, some of our cancer services are provided uh, at our campus in Gainesville. Healthcare is now a team sport. You know, there's not a single individual that can do everything on their own. You need a comprehensive set of skills to be able to address those patients. So we all work together. We depend on the social worker, the case manager, the physicians. We're all working together to deliver the best care to our patients. And we, we can't do it in isolation. We do it together as a team. When people are taken care of very well, uh, when people go the extra step to make sure somebody gets what they need, uh, it reflects the values of the entire organization. Everyone here is very important, and we all together make a team. So without, with, without my charge nurse, without housekeeping, you can't do anything without the whole team. I think it's great when people work together. You get better results rather than just isolated doctors who have no connection with each other. I've been very happy with the, with the services I've received. I can't do any of my work without the things that have been done by other persons in the hospital. In the end, it's not a matter of this room has to be clean. This room has to be clean because somebody's grandma was coming in there. We're all specialized and we all do our job well. Uh, and we, that's why we depend on each other. Nobody thinks that, well, that's not my job. We just drop and run. So it's just providing that consistency of competency, orientation, and skills across the system so that we are providing the consistent care to this community as well. Things like housekeeping and, and, and IT, they're all vital things that we can't do our job without. This is not a work that we can do alone. This is a work that we have to do together. And so the values are truly true. We, we're true to those values and we live them out each day with each other, with our patients and with their families. Every employee has a responsibility to be a good steward of this asset that we have. Because if each and every one of us just cares about ourselves and doesn't care about this organization or our patients, the organization's just gonna fall apart. So every single day that we come in, we should be looking at how can I be more efficient to provide better value to our patients? And then what can we do to enhance the patient experience through good efficiency, stewardship, to provide sustainability to our organization so that long after I'm here or that you're here, that this organization is still here to provide outstanding patient care to everybody in this community. Obviously the hospital is here to provide health care to anyone who shows up. Whether they can pay or not, they are still treated at our hospital. And so making sure that the hospital is strong financially to be able to provide for those that can't provide for themselves necessarily is also a key component of stewardship. I've worked for 23 years in the healthcare industry and with five hospital systems and Northeast Georgia has been the most generous with their charity care policies that I've seen. And I know that if we spend frivolously of the system's money, then the day will come that we will not have the money for that piece of medical equipment that our patients so need, or that we will not have the money to go build that building that we so desperately need and that service line that we so desperately need for our community. And to me, that's what good stewardship's all about. This is really not just the hospitals, but it's we treat it as though it's our own. And so how do we take care of the things that we have in our home? Not throwing things away, but can we reuse things? Can another unit utilize something that we may no longer use or need in our, in our unit? That's that ownership mentality. And so you don't necessarily have to deal with finances on a daily basis directly to have that. When you care about something as much as we do, you want it to look its best, you want the system to 
be successful. And so we, have, we all have the opportunity to impact that, to make those decisions. We want to do our best every day for our patients and providing them the care that they need and that they deserve. But we also have to be responsible and look at how we can provide those services in a way that serves the greater purpose of allowing us to continue to be that partner for the community for the long term. It takes a lot of work and effort from employees, physicians, business leaders, people in the community to make this hospital work. This hospital and this medical staff has such a tremendous reputation for quality. And then, you know, the other great compliment to this organization is our volunteer program. And I think all of that combined is what makes people feel good about choosing one of the hospitals in the system. And this is my hospital. I feel comfortable here. This is where I want to come when I need services. This is where I brought my children for everything from stitches to broken arms to all those kind of things. And this is a place where I know that I can trust the care of my family. We always want to envision that next patient that's going to be coming through our system. We're not just looking at efficiency so that we can check a box or that we can uh, tout that we have the best times or the best numbers. Um, we're able to, to tout that we are absolutely making a difference in not only the lives of a patient, but that patient is a, is a husband, is a wife, a brother. And so we try to focus everything we can on what is that next patient going to need. We're never going to be satisfied with what we're doing now. We're always going to want to tweak it to where the patient experience is always first. I can't tell you how many times I've called dietary when lunch is over, but we have a hungry mom who's just delivered a baby and they fix something wonderful and bring it up to us and they're always great about it. When I give tours, um, and I can celebrate all of the awards and I get to share those and the philanthropic things that our community has done and our building efforts that we would not have these things to share that are so beautiful if the community have not even taken the pride in our organization to want to make it beautiful. And I think that's just a culture here at the hospital, a culture of excellence in everything they do, from how they treat their volunteers to how they treat their patients to how they are part of the community. Since the first patient was admitted to Hall County's new hospital in 1951, the people of Northeast Georgia have entrusted us with their health and the health of their families. From Gainesville to Gillsville, from Dawsonville to Dahlonega, and Blairsville to Brazelton, we work each day to fulfill our mission for this and future generations.